I welcome all the students. Today, we are going to learn the implementation part of the two-dimensional scaling transformation. Okay, so when we apply the two-dimensional scaling, the object may be enlarged. Okay, so we may want to enlarge the size of the object, or we may want to reduce the size of the object, or there may be the compression of the object or reduction in the size of the object. Okay, in the last session, we have learned the complete theoretical part of the two dimensional scaling with the help of the different examples. Today, we are going to see how the two dimensional scaling is implemented, and we are going to look at the output of the program. Okay, so how the two dimensional scaling is applicable. <music> As a lot of you are going to save the time, okay, of uh, writing down the complete program, okay. So I just have it okay, type the program as per the okay, two-dimensional okay, scaling, okay, and its related part or the algorithm, okay. So I just write the name of the program in the comment here. Program for implementation of 2D or two-dimensional scaling. So our program implement the two-dimensional scaling, which is a program for implementation of a two-dimensional scaling. As usual, we go for include stdio.h, okay, we include punio.h, okay, these are required for the, all the C program. Okay, so printf CNFs are there in stdio.h. And we are having the okay, get ch and all these functions in the punio.h. Okay, then we are going to implement the math.h, it includes the mathematical function. Okay, so whenever you are using some different mathematical function, it is necessary to include the math.h as an include header file. Okay, for normal addition, multiplication, division, this may not be needed. Okay, but when we go for the square function, square root function, cos, sine, theta, and so on, we may need to include the math.h. Okay, so then we are going to implement. Okay, I just remove this. We are going to include the graphics dot h, which is having the graphics function. So all the graphics function, whatever we are using, we need to include the graphics dot h header file. Okay. Now uh, we are having, we are considering that the object we want to scale, okay, is drawn with the help of taking the number of vertices. Okay, so we are taking the array of v indicate vertices x indicated x value so we are having the array of vx and vy okay for the original object and when we are going to transform that particular object when the object is scaled okay it is stored into the another variable so that our original object remains as it is in another array so the transform object is stored in the tvx and tvy okay so here the t indicate transform v indicate vertices and x is the x value so we are having tvx and tvy Okay, for the transform object. Okay, then we are taking the center of the screen because we are dividing the screen into the a four quadrant. So the center of the screen is 320 and 240. Okay, then and we indicate number of vertices and I use for the for loop. Okay, then we are having the first function that we are going to write it here. Okay, that is for to draw the original object with white color okay so we are drawing our original object okay which is having the white color okay and this is the function for it okay so in this function we go to clear the device clear the screen first set the color to 15 so 15 indicate white okay set color to the command white Okay, then what we are going to do, we are going to divide the screen into the four quadrant. The complete resolution of the uh, screen is 640 by 480. So I draw one in center of the screen, I draw, draw one horizontal line, and then we are going to draw the vertical line. Draw the horizontal and vertical line in the center to divide the screen into four quadrants. And we are using the for loop here to connect all the vertices from starting point, first vertex to the last vertex starting point to end point okay we are going to connect with 
this for loop and the separate line we are using to connect the last point with the first point so one indicate first point here vx of one indicate the first point connected to the last point last point is indicated by nv nv indicate number of vertices okay so we are going to connect the first point and last point and divide it okay so then we are having a separate function play the transform object okay or to draw the transform here what is the transformation we are applying scaled object okay we are applying the scaling here okay s c a l e d so i apply the scaled object to draw the transform object okay or to draw the scaled object we are using the separate function and the name of function is to draw two object okay draw t sorry draw t t stand for transform object draw t object okay so here we are going to set the color to yellow okay set the color of transform object to yellow so that i can differentiate i can find the uh, the white color is my object or which is original and after transformation i have received the object or i got the object with yellow color so we set the color yellow again we are using the for loop to transform the object okay only the difference here is we are using instead of t only vx we are using t vx of i and t vy t vx and t vy is used to plot the transform object okay so let us look at the main function that we are having now in the main function okay so we are as usual we are declaring the gt is equal to detect and gm is equal to detect so we are declaring the graphics driver and we are declaring the graphics mode okay now after declaring the graphics mode and graphics driver the input we are taking for the two dimensional scaling are the scaling factor sx and sy okay so this sx and sy indicate the scaling factor scaling factor now we have taken the scaling factor value or the data type is float not an integer because the value of sx and sy may be 0.5 if i want to reduce the size by 50% or i want to reduce the size by 30% 90% okay so in that case the value of sx and sy will be uh floating point or it is real value so we are taking it as sx and sy scaling factor as a float value okay these are my scaling factor okay as we have declared in my our theoretical case in the matrix also we are calling it as a capital s and small x sx and y so sx and sy indicate my scaling factor okay so init graph we initialize the graphics here then we are going to take the object as the input so we are have to take the input object how we are taking the input object we take the enter number of vertices can f with the and number of vertices is stored in the variable nv so we use and percent nv then we are allowing the user to enter all these vertices okay so here we are allowing user to enter the first point of the object second point third point means suppose i want to draw the triangle the number of vertices i will give as a 3 and i will draw the triangle okay but it is possible for you to draw the rectangle also okay so whatever the object you want to draw you give this as a input so here we are taking the original object as a input okay input the object okay now after taking the object input okay what we are going to do we draw that original object so that user can visualize or you can see that yes yeah, this is the object i have drawn okay and after that okay after that what we are going to do we have to take the input the scaling factors sx and sy from the user so we are going to take the scaling factor sx and sy as the input from the user as i told these are the floating point values so i use percentage f and percentage f in the scan app and input the values sx and sy okay so we are taking this value as the input okay now after taking this value as the input okay i think we have to apply apply Okay, I just write it here. We are going to apply the scaling transformation. Okay, so in the scaling transformation, I think as we have learned in now normal translation, we are just going to add the values of the tx and ty. Okay, that is what that was the addition. Okay, but in the scaling, the factors are multiplied. So I here you can find it as in the for loop. I am going to change the values of okay so this is nothing but i just write it here so you can understand this will be in the theoretical part we say x dash is equal to x into 
sx okay so we go for how we are finding out the new value transform object x value will be x into sx okay so sx in this case is my scaling factor in x direction similarly here we have applied the value as y dash is equal to y into okay multiplication y into sy okay so here my what is my transform object x dash my x dash is t vx of i okay we are taking this as an array then what is my x my normal x is vx and this is my sx okay so what the formula that we come with this is in t vx of i is equal to vx of i into sx getting me similarly i will get t vy of i is equal to vy of i into sy okay so that indicate that we are applying this formula into my uh, in the array of the uh, coordinate system or x and y value okay now this will help us to apply the normal two dimensional scaling okay and obviously we are applying it from the origin 0 0 okay now after this okay what we have to do we have to draw the original object okay so that we know which is the original object and then we draw the transform object and then we go for uh, closing the graph already in the draw original and draw object we have used get ch okay so that function itself is having get ch so that we can find the output or we can see the output and then we go for the at the end we should should not forget to close the graph okay so this is our program for the two dimensional scaling i think whatever the program we have used or we are using i think it will be confirmed only when we see the correct output on the screen okay so i use f2 to save the program f9 okay and control f9 to execute the program here in the first example i take the same example as a triangle where it is having the number of vertices are 3 okay i enter the first point of the object i take it as 100 100 okay then a point b point is 200 100 and the c point we are taking as 150 and 150 i am taking the same example because it will be easy for everyone to understand so i am drawing the triangle with three vertices okay press enter yes my triangle is visible on the screen this is my original object okay now to this original object what i want to do now we have learned that we are having two types of the scaling maybe uniform scaling and non uniform scaling so we are having uniform and non uniform scaling okay so initially i want to apply the uniform scaling to this object and i want to reduce the size of this object by 50% so i want 50% compression 50% reduction okay so when i want to reduce the sx and sy value should be less than 1 so my sx and sy value will be 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay 1 by 2 or 1 by 2 so I want to reduce this object by 50%. Okay, so let us apply this, execute the program. Okay, so enter the scaling factor SX and SY. Okay, what was my purpose? My purpose is reduce the object by 50%. So I give this value is 0 0.5. We are taking this value as a floating. That's why we are taking this value as a floating. SX is 0 0.5. I consider this an example of uniform scale because the value of sx and sy are identical they are same okay and we are going for the compression of the object okay if i press enter here so this is my original object i want to reduce it by 50 percent from the origin yes we have got the i think you can find the yellow color triangle indicate my transform object the object or the triangle is reduced by 50 percent okay 0 0.5 0 0.5 means 1 by 2 1 by 2 50 percent the object is reduced and we can say it is the example of the uh, reduction of the size of the object okay and it is an example of the uniform scaling okay why i said it is uniform scaling because we have entered the value of sx and sy which are same which are identical okay so let us execute the program again and now we will go to enlarge the object okay and let us check uh, again uniformly how we can enlarge the object first okay so i just execute the program again f2 to save f9 i go for control f9 okay now i draw the same object okay number of vertices are three first point is 100 100 200 100 and 150 150 okay so 150 150 so this is my original triangle now what i want to do 
Okay, I think instead of wasting more time, we will go for non-uniform scaling. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? We go for non-uniform scaling. In non-uniform scaling, the value of SX and SY are different. Okay, and now we don't want to reduce the object. We want to enlarge the object. Okay, now what I will do, I don't want to increase the size of object in X direction. Okay, so SX value, I will keep it as one. Okay, if it is multiplied with one, means the values of X will be same. Okay. Anything multiplied by one, it will remain as it is. Okay, so I will get SX equal to one, whereas I want to uh, increase, enlarge the size of object by 50%. Okay, not double, 50%. So value will be 1.5 and that is in Y direction. Okay, so I just apply this values now. So what I want to do, SX value, I want to keep this one as it is. One means I don't want to change the scale in X direction. Okay, so it will be one, but in Y direction, I want to use 1.5. Okay, I want to double or fifty percent. I want to increase the size of the object, but not in only in x direction, only in y direction. So I call this is the example of non-uniform scaling. Okay, because the value of s x and s y are different, they are not same, and I'm entering the value which is greater than or equal to one. Okay, more than one s x and s y means I'm going to enlarge the size of the object. Okay, not reduction. Okay, so just let us see change the output. So this is my this was my original triangle. Okay, and now we are applying. Yes, you can find this here. The object has enlarged. Yes, very correct. You can find the yellow color indicate my scaled object, but it is non-uniform scaling. Remember, it is non-uniform scaling because in X direction, it is multiplied by one. So X value is not scaled, but Y value is scaled by 1.5, means 50% the size of the object has increased. Okay, and all this scaling, Okay, whatever we are doing, all this scaling has started from the origin 0, 0. So we are scaling all this object from the origin 0, 0. Getting me? Now, uh, what we will, what we go for is, okay, now I just want to draw a, not triangle, I want to draw a rectangle now. Okay, I want to draw the rectangle and we see that if I apply for uh, not only 50%, I just want to apply for 0.33% reduction into the object. Okay, not 50%. Then how it will look like? Okay, so all of you are knowing the values of the, uh, so that is the reason I told this is generalized program, which will take number of input from the user. Okay, so it may be rectangle you want to draw. So in our rectangle, the values of A and B point will be same. So C point is not at the center, but the, we are having the value of the C point which is having the x value, okay? So I say that the value of x is same, but y value will change, okay? So let us enter the rectangle here, okay? So I just, uh, again, I will execute the program, F2 to save the program, F9, and I will go for control F9. Now I want to draw the rectangle because I said that this is my generalized program, it may draw any object, okay? So I take this 100, 100 as it is, first point is 100, 100, the second point that I'm going to apply okay, is x value is 200, 100. Okay, so I'm having the first point 100, 100. Second point is 200, 100. Now my C point, okay, which is above the B point. I just want to draw a, you can may say it as a square. I want to draw a square, no issue. Okay, so in that case, my value of x will be 200 as it is, but my value of y will be 150. I think it is not square because in y direction it is scaled only by 50, so it is rectangle, okay, so 200 and 150, okay, and what will be my d point, my d point is having the x value 100, but my y value is 150, so it is my a, b, c, d rectangle, okay, y value will be 150, x value is 100, so let us see the object, how it will look like, yes, I found that, this is my rectangle as I have drawn, so that's why I told I am taking the input as the object with number of vertices and I take the input from the user. So I'm having A, B, C, D vertices and my rectangle is drawn. Okay, now I want to reduce this rectangle. I want to have a reduction of this rectangle, okay, which is uniform reduction, but not 50%. I want to reduce it by, I say 0.3%. 30% I want to reduce the size of this object. Okay, so here you may give 0 0.7. If you give 0 0.7 means uh, 30 percent reduction is there if I give 0 0.3 70 percent reduction will occur into the object okay or if I give 0 0.5 means 50 percent reduction is applicable 
So I think in between I will give, I want to reduce this by 0.4, 40% or we can say 60% I want to reduce the size of the object. So I enter the scaling factor here, just check as an example 0.4 means 40% I want to reduce into the x direction. Here you may reduce in y direction 0.60%, okay, or whatever you want. If you want uniform scaling, I will give 0.4 and 0.4. See my scaling factor is 0.4, getting me, my scaling factor is 0.4 indicate that I want to reduce in the 60%, okay, 60% of that particular value that I want to reduce the size of objects. So let us look at the output. Scaling factor is 0.4 and 0.4. I press enter. This is my, this was my original object. I press enter. Yes, you can find this is my, the yellow rectangle indicate that the reduction of the object. Okay, so I think we have got the correct output on the screen. So our program is very correct. But only the thing is, we have shown that the implementation where the two-dimensional scaling occurs from the origin 0, 0. Okay, so all this scaling we are applying from the origin 0, 0. So you can find the output on the screen. Original object is rectangle with white color. It's reducing or applying the six and by factor by 0.4 and 0.4. Okay. So 40% ICT, 0.4 and 0.4. So the object is listed on the screen with the yellow color. And this is what we call it as the two-dimensional scaling. Here the scaling is uniform. Okay, when the scaling is uniform, the shape of the object will not change. Okay, because in X and Y, both direction, I am applying the same scaling, same reduction or same enlargement. Okay, so it is the shape of the object will not change. But if you apply non-uniform scaling, okay, SX, value is different, S5 value is different, it may change the shape of the object or it may have some distortion of the object. Okay, so we have seen the correct output on the screen and this is our program for the two-dimensional scaling. Apply the scaling term. Okay, so that is X dash is equal to X into SX and Y dash is equal to Y into SY. So I hope all of you enjoyed the two-dimensional scaling program and its implementation. I think we have seen the correct output also on the screen. Okay, so I end my session here. Okay, so thank you, thank you all.